The word Ramadan comes from the Arabic root word Ramad, which means burning, or intense heat. As we fast, we become more and more aware of what our body and soul yearn for. We are better able to focus our spiritual, emotional and physical energy. The physical body weakens throughout the day and increasingly becomes the object of our attention. For 30 days, from sunrise to sunset, we participate in spiritual world-making and world-burning, we burn what we don't need and build spiritual pathways that bring us closer to Allah. It is a purifying process. Think of it as sensory deprivation, where the metaphysical and physical are having a meeting, fortifying a consciousness of oneself. Due to the global lockdown, Ramadan in 2020 has meant a fast from physical gatherings, an integral part of Ramadan, as well as food and drink. The difficult parts of the holiday are typically eased by our community. And yet, amid this global pandemic, mosques around the world are closed. Fasting is an intensely personal act of worship and an exercise of personal integrity and discipline. But it's also surprisingly policed. Writes in her book, Secrets of Divine Love, that Allah rigs this month in our favor. It is a time to reflect and be still with ourselves, and yet there is also a pressure to be productive. With the lockdown, this pressure has only increased. At the end of every Ramadan, I feel guilty knowing that I could have prayed more, recited more Quran, volunteered more. When in truth I was bartering acts of worship and overcompensating for my shortcomings. Instead of gorging on food when the sun sets, I was gorging on guilt and shame, I was allowing the pressure of external forces to inform my relationship with Islam. Without limits, this can induce anxiety, especially without the help of our physical and spiritual family. And yet, we have to push back against this anxiety and this instinct to make the most of it. The Quran says that Allah intends for you ease and does not intend for you hardship. This period of deprivation is not supposed to be a way to prove your endurance, but to glorify Allah. And as Ramadan comes to a close, this lesson is more important than ever. Without access to the same support systems, food is one of the few resources that remains a comfort. There were days I woke up feeling faint and physically weak, it would have been irresponsible to keep fasting. But I also didn't feel compelled to push myself like I normally do. I've been fasting since I was 7 years old, but the exhaustion I felt this month was psychological. I listened to my body and broke my fast when I needed to, and I kept a tally of the days I missed and rested. The best way I could honor my time this Ramadan was by honoring the needs of my body. Fasting is for Allah, and I have no one else to answer to. In Islam, there is a natural tendency to gravitate towards people who give off certain vibes. 